great to have y'all all here. Oh my God. You know what, life's actually pretty cool, why do I need to escape it? You know, and you find that, you know, a lot of times, you know, alcohol, drugs, all this stuff, is just escape. But then when you realize you don't really want to escape anymore because you like where you're at, then all of a sudden, well, what, what, what do you do? And, and I always joke around, you know, with my friends, I'm high on life. Because you begin to see the intricacies that most people kind of miss sometimes because they're not paying attention. Like you said in the very beginning, people are on their phone focusing on these things where they're not even seeing the big picture. They're not seeing, you know, people doing the right things for others and helping somebody across the street. They don't see that the cloud that looks like a teddy bear. They don't see that. All they see is so-and-so didn't like my comment on Facebook and so-and-so looks so much better in that dress than I do. And I can't believe it. And we live in a world by comparison. Right. And these young girls right now, and look, you have to, you have to admit, Kris Jenner is brilliant at marketing okay. and marketed that family beautifully. Oh yeah. And that is a business, that is a TV show. But unfortunately, so many people are trying to emulate that show. So many young girls want to be that. Nobody else is that because you're not a part of that family. Right. That is a, that is a small, small portion of, of one small group, and so many girls want to relate to that, and that's not relatable. No, not at all. It's on television. Mm -hmm. You know, what I love about your point and your brand and your message is yes, this is entertainment, but there's a true message. There's something deep. The show itself has a little bit of a twist that's never been done before on TV ever. Season one is up, so binge watch as much as you want. We got some amazing people here in the audience, and I'm just really appreciative that you're here. It means a lot to me. Now it's time for Q and Ashley, and Garcelle's gonna sit in my seat, and I'm gonna sit on the hot seat, the couch, and she's gonna ask me some questions. I'm looking forward to what she's going to ask. <laughs> Okay. All right, this is gonna be fun. Okay, 2016, single in Los Angeles. What do I do? Wow, <laughs> I love Go that. Go right in. How do you achieve your absolute like sense of self while also sort of complying to the industry and, and the way I need to be. If you could go back in time as an adult as you are now and talk to your five-year-old little girl, what would you say to her? Wow, um, you made me cry. Hmm. I would have to say that you're amazing and you're awesome and don't ever think differently. That everything you do is good and just be good to yourself and don't put yourself down and don't hate on yourself and just love yourself and see how amazing you are because you are and I think everybody watching this show if you can just take a moment right now to, to realize that um, it's it's very valuable it changes everything I don't know if you know this but I know something about you that you might not be aware of you have something very unique about you that nobody else has you have like a superpower <laughs> And so what I'm showing here is that it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity, it doesn't matter if you're Jewish, it doesn't matter if you're black, it doesn't matter if you're white, everybody comes from the same, we're all the same. We're all amazingly connected, right? And that's what matters, so why not show that and show that from a celebrity point of view? Even if it's like going through some really awesome times in our life where we experience like the most amazing times versus even some of the most struggling, painful times, and to know that other people have gone through it, they're still alive, They've gone through the other side, they've seen the light, and now we're here. So that's why I created it. What made Ashley decide to switch? <laughs> Who does that? Isn't that nerve wracking? I would be so nervous about what they're gonna ask me. Let's go back to the beginning of us filming the show. So I remember like Greg Uganis coming in and like his manager, which I've known for a long time, said, I don't know what the hell you're doing here. 
I don't understand what this is in this whole switch thing. I'm not on board. At any point in time that I decide that it's done, it's done, we're pulling the plug, we're, we're out of here. So everybody came in and everybody was scared. What's gonna happen here? And I think within like a few minutes, everybody got very, very comfortable. And then we did the switch and it came from their heart. It was like real questions about what they wanted to do in life or why was something in their way or whatever. And I had no idea what they were gonna ask. Uh, and there was a part of me that said, oh God, what if they ask a question that I have no answer to? <laughs> and, and what if I just sit there and look like a moron, you know? Uh, the, the questions that they asked were so intense and so amazing and so cool and so deep and real. It just shows you all of us feel the same way. And when it comes down to it, all we want is to be loved. And it comes down to it, all we want is just to be really loved and unconditional love. And when you figure that out and you understand that, it's not that hard. And you know, when you think about it, a lot of times people get scared and celebrities get scared because what are you gonna do to me? Are you gonna show the really bad side of me? Are you gonna show something that I don't wanna show? No, that's not what we're doing here. It's not to make people feel bad. It's to make people shine. Because it's not about all of our successes, it's our failures. And it's not our failures, because we actually did it. It's only failure when you don't do it. <laughs> And that's what's so key, and that's, that's why I did the show. And, and when you connect with it, you go, wow. And, and everybody gave a hug, and everybody said I love you, and everybody has kept in contact with me, and I hear from text and email, and it was almost like we were at a summer camp together for like 10 days. And that's the key, and that's what the show's about. I want to switch. Okay. Spots, can Let's do it. <laughs> So what I want to know, Ashley, is if you have children, you're constantly away trying to provide, but then your youngest wants to know why you're always away and why you're not around. So help me. <laughs> my daughter, my 11-year-old, tells me all the time, you work for CPS. And I said, no, I don't work for them. I have a contract with them. But she says, it's neglect. You're never here. It's neglect. She is so right. I'm a terrible daddy, so I need help. Tell me what do I do to make her happy, but still provide for my family. Wow, I'm on the hot seat here. <sighs> OK. I, when you put it in perspective for children, because they're so inherently intelligent, and they can feel it, and they know the truth, when you look in her eyes and say, because daddy wants to help other children just like you, and cares that they have a place to sleep where people aren't beating on them or hurting them, and I want to make sure that they have a safe place like you do. And, and I think when you look at her and you tell her that and you look her in the eye and you're just honestly straight up honest because you are, she knows you love her. She's giving you a little bit of a hard time too, but she wants to see her dad. But just making the times that you do spend with her just so amazing. And I think sometimes all of us can learn from this too is that sometimes we've got to put down that phone. You know, no matter what's happening, and say, you know what, I'm living now, okay? And whether it's one hour at home, and you look at your daughter, and she goes, I love you, Daddy, I love you so much, you know? Which is the most amazing feeling in the world. It yeah, is. That little face, yeah. yeah. And I think when you see that, you, say, you literally go, okay, world, for one hour, I'm going to spend real time with my daughter. It's what I'm going to do. Because it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Watching the celebrity perspective with Ashley Burgess on Amazon Prime, I went to bed that night feeling better than I had in months. I can say it's a life changer for me. I received so much out of it. Wow, the things that I learned about some of these celebrities that I've known for many years is really insightful. She is an amazing person with the ability to get someone to dig deep inside their thoughts and feelings and share it. I also love how Ashley turns it around and lets them make themselves a little more vulnerable and then makes herself really vulnerable. I think it's really cool. You can experience the truth of who they are and where they're coming from and they tell these beautiful stories that help me and it helped me by me wanting to tap into my story. This is not something that you see on regular TV. 